skin this character perfectly in the time for this DVD. Um, but hopefully I'll have a, a somewhat skin version uh, um, as a demonstration uh, as, as to what can be achieved with skin um, for the end of the uh, DVD. Okay, so it's starting to look a little bit better. I have some oddities going in the top here we need to uh, solve. I think I've actually got the uh, position of the arm going too high anyways uh, during the animation. And it's, uh, it's certainly making it look a little odd as well. But I think a bit more weight in our first twist bone will uh, help put some volume back in the top of the arm. So, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to put in a couple of extra bones. Ah, sorry, something I should point out right away. I've, I've accidentally painted in weight in here. Uh, paint blend weights will get rid of that. You can also hold down Alt and it's uh, negative paint weight, so it's actually painting the weight out. And again, um, just like in grabbing the uh, ABS effect and, and spinning it down, the weight of that vertice has now been added into any other bones uh, evenly. Um, that that was currently affecting it before. So let's actually build a couple of new bones now. And we'll set them up as stretchy bones in the character's neck and in the character's chest. So in create bones, I'm going to make them smaller to size of one. And this bone is actually going to follow the neck muscle And we're going to need to use the uh, bone tools, bone edit mode, just so we can stretch the muscle in the right place. So I'm going to call this a muscle bone for now. Work in local mode. And we'll say that's pretty good for now. And let's put, add one in the chest. We're going to add one right across the chest here, in the front of the chest. Put it just underneath the skin. And we'll carry that through up into the uh, front of the shoulder. Now what's going to happen here is I'm just going to uh, make sure that I uh, reset the stretch on these. <clears throat> We're going to set both these up as a, as a squash and stretch bone. So I'm going to turn on squash and stretch now so that when they actually stretch they'll actually get fatter and thinner. The way we're going to set it up is, for the neck bone, this end will be uh, parented down to and following the rotations of the clavicle, and the end bone will be following the rotations of the head bone. For the uh, chest mu uh, muscle bone, the, this end will be parented, and it probably should be um, biased between these two a bit, following both of the rotations a little bit. We can use that with a, another point helper and some constraints. Um, and then this end will follow the clavicle again. So to set these up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a simple system of constraints, just like we did in the, uh, the spinal column. I'm going to use the uh, pen rigging utils just to make fast work of it. I want to select both bones, make point helpers, and it's going to drop a point helper into each one. You can make those by hand and just align them. To set the rig up then, we'll do the neck first. Take the bone that's going to stretch and I'm going to make it look at the point helper that's up at the uh, child end of it. So I'm going to set a look at constraint on it, point it at it. I don't particularly like the uh, view line length uh, being on so I tend to get rid of that. Set the up node vector to be the the up node to be the uh, uh, point helper that's at the root of the bone chain so that this this object will handle any twist and twist that bone. And then all you need to do is set the nub bone to have a position constraint and const position constraint it up to the nub bone up at the uh, child end. 